What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some big gaming news over the last couple days. And of course that is Microsoft changing the price of Xbox Live or Xbox Live Gold is what it's called now. Uh, I have not played on Xbox in several years. I used to always play on Xbox. I used to always own both consoles. Uh, I did own an Xbox One uh, from this past generation, but it finally quit working. So, you know, I haven't used my Xbox in quite a while now. And if you guys have not heard, uh, Xbox was going to have a price increase. Microsoft decided to increase the price of what it cost for, you know, this to subscription to play online for, you know, one month, two months, or one month, three months, and six months. Microsoft does not sell uh, a year subscription on the Xbox store anymore. If you want a year subscription to Xbox Live, you have to physically go to a retail store and buy that. But I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background, a little bit of Black Ops Cold War, just to kind of, you know, throw something in the background. So to give you guys something to watch while I talk about the pr uh, price increase. But of course, you know, over the last several years, I, I think Microsoft said they had not changed the price of Xbox Live in the last 10 years, um, which is, is, is nice. You know, a lot of Xbox fans like that that price had not changed. Uh, you know, of course, it was $9.99 for a month membership, $24.99 for three months, and $39.99 for six months. Of course, you know, you kind of add that up, you're still looking around the same as PlayStation Plus. Where I live, PlayStation Plus for a year is about $65 with tax. Of course, if you take $39.99 for six months, you add that together in the U.S., it's a little bit more, but it's nothing crazy. You know, it's not a big gap in price difference. I mean, $40, yeah, you might be spending $80, $85 bucks for the year. Uh but like I said, it's not a huge difference in what PlayStation's price was. But Microsoft had decided to go with a $10.99 increase for the year, which is only a dollar, a $29.99 increase for the um, three month, you know, kind of tier, and $59.99 for the six month tier. Now, a lot of people were really upset with this because that was going to make a year total of Xbox Live cost you around $120 before tax. And a lot of people were very upset with this. Another reason people are upset with this is you cannot play free-to-play games like Fortnite, Warzone, things of that nature on Xbox without having to have Xbox Live. And a lot of people were saying, why in the world would I you know, pay $120 a year to play, you know, if I play free-to-play games, if I play Apex Legends, if I play Fortnite, if I play Warzone, if I'm not play buying a lot of big AAA titles, why would I pay $120 a year to pay, you know, to play these games? And... It wasn't just a small amount of the community. I mean, this was a massive amount. Reddit, Twitter, I mean, it was all over the place for hours. Uh, people discussing this. He just kind of blew up. And people were saying they were either going to swap to PS5 or just go to PC. There were people talking about, you know, the head uh, Xbox Series S and Series X pre-orders on their, on their way. You know, after months and months of trying to find these consoles, people finally found some. They were talking about canceling them because there were so... Uh, there was such a big uproar about this. And I do kind of understand, you know, it's a big price difference. You could go buy a PS5 if you could find one uh, and, and then pay $65 for a year and play a lot of the free-to-play games without having to even have a PlayStation Plus subscription. Microsoft admitted almost not even 24 hours later that uh, they had made a big mistake and decided to leave the prices uh, alone and set them back to what they were originally. And also they said that they were going to uh, make a lot of these free-to-play games available to play without having to have a Xbox Live Gold membership. So this has made a lot of the fans happy. I'm glad Microsoft decided to do this with Xbox. I'm, you know, I, I was hating to see the, the community around the Xbox, you know, just kind of have to step away. I mean, I understand why that is a huge price increase. And I think, uh, I think Microsoft understood that the community was not ready to pay that kind of price that they could go play, you know, like I said, another console, go play on PC, whatever the case may be. So leave me a comment, guys. If you're an Xbox fan, if you play on Xbox a lot, if you own both consoles, whatever the case may be, how did you feel kind of about this uh, price increase? And are you happy? I'm sure most of you are that Microsoft decided to change uh, these price increases back to the, just the normal, you know, what you have been experiencing over the last 10 years. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you'd like to hit the like, if you had not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have uh, click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.